money, I'm revving. Preach, just protecting my investment. Ask about me, integrity's not a question. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Arkansas Athletic Commission, Commissioner John Webb. Our three judges scoring this contest cage side are Michael Tabb, Michael Guerrero, and Willie McLaughlin. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this cage is Bobby Wombacher. And now, this is the fight you've wanted all night. The cage is ready, and this bout is set for three rounds at five minutes apiece. We are live from the rock, and this is B2. First, fighting out of the B2 blue corner, his record stands at six wins and five losses. His height, five feet 11 inches, and his weight, 140 pounds. He trains with Wildside Combat Sports Center and comes to you from Clarksville, Tennessee. His name is Edward the Ninja Massey. And out of one more gym red corner, his record stands at eight wins and five losses. His height, five feet, six inches, and his weight, 144 pounds. He trains with Rock City MMA. And he comes to you from Little Rock by way of Hot Springs, Arkansas. His name is Solo Hatley Jr. All right, gentlemen, this is the main event. We've been through the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up if you want. A solo Hatley Jr. crowd about blew the roof off of this building, Andy. Man, what a backing. This Rock City gym has got such a huge backing, especially solo Hatley Jr. He's got a huge following on social media as well. Yes. Touch of the gloves here. Edward Massey in the blue, so Hatley in the red. Oh, great jab by Edward. You know, I, I see them figuring this out. These guys are no, you know, they're veterans, and I, and I think that they're going to sit there. It's a puzzle. It's like it's a chess match. So um, let's see. I, I know Edward's going to try to stay long. Oh, great leg kick. Beautiful leg kick. And Edward, again, he's, he's bouncing longer. Great footwork. Putting that jab right there in the face of Solo Hatley Jr., just giving him something to think about as Edward Massey switches from Southpaw to Orthodox there. And Solo Hatley's control in the center of the cage right now. And you know, Edward, he switches a lot, man, because he's he's ambidextrous. He's good, he's just as good on the left side as he is the right side. So he'll switch a lot and throw a lot of feints like he's gonna switch and then throw something up the middle. Solo Hatley Jr., great rush. Exactly where he wants to fight. That was exactly what Solo needed to do. I mean, he's so fast. It, it wasn't even that it was great penetration. It was just so fast he was in there. You can't defend it before you even know what's going on. But Edward knew he was going to do this. Yes. He's doing the right thing. He's, he's back up. It's, it's hard to keep him down. Beautiful job. That'll way to pummel back in. And, and Massey turns right away, puts Solo Hatley Jr. on the cage. Massey's no stranger to this, man. Everybody he fights does this to him. So he, he's used to being up against the panel, having to work on the clinch, and, and really having the fight, a, a dirty fight, you know, so. Well, when you've got the kickboxing experience that Massey does has, nobody's going to want to stand in front of you. And it's for good reason. And now we'll see if Hatley's going to be able to get back in on the legs again. It's like you said, Hacker, man, you know, uh, Solo really didn't penetrate on that takedown, but if he was set it up with his hands, with his boxing, he could oh. definitely, oh, head kick. Woo, barely missed. It, it, it grazed. It, 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 it hit. Yeah, like it, it, it was, was, it was blocked, what? but you can only block so much of that. That still know. hurts the arm, yes. man. You see a lot of broken arms in them blocks like that. So, And I'm a big fan of how Edward Massey set that up. He fainted an uppercut, circled off, and then ripped a big left high kick. I mean, it's high-level stuff. Stuck in the cage is the mouthpiece. And it looked like Hatley connected there. You, the mouthpiece don't 
<laughs> don't fly. <laughs> what a great technical fight right now. This is this is good. I feel like Solo, I mean, throw the jab, throw the overhand yes. right. Get in there. Get that penetration because Edward didn't like being up against that cage like that. A big body kick lands for Edward Massey there. Solo didn't like that. He closes the distance right. immediately. Looking for the single leg. Switching off oh, to the double. He's got to grab it. Yeah, he's switching off to the double. He's got to go. Oh, he's going to go get it down. He even have his hands clasped. Right. Just so strong. Solo Hatley Jr. And again, we'll see if, if Massey's able to stand right back up. And I spoke to Solo Hatley Jr. yesterday. He said he's aware that Massey has good ground game. Says that he knows that Massey has good triangles off of his back. Yeah, most of his submission victory is our victories have been from the triangle. Um, I think he has a few darts as well. But there's a knee right here. I would be throwing that knee. That right knee is there. It would block, but it don't matter. Hit the forearms. Right. You know, weaken the arms down. That's going to slow Solo down on his grappling and boxing. And Solo, but Solo's relentless, man. man. I mean, he's a dog. He's just all over these Great legs. Great ankle pick right here. He's got to suck that ankle out. He does. Beautiful job by Solo Hatley. Edwards not staying still, man. Massey's on a Kimura here. Oh, beautiful job. Uses it to come up. Great job. And now Massey puts Solo Hatley on the cage. I mean, this fight has been back and forth. Great job on that Kimura. Yes. You know, just to use it for a sweep. Right. You know, to be, not, not, for, not for a submission, just to better and advance your position. Great job. Beautiful job. So I loved how Massey right then framed out the arms and threw that knee and then came right back into the, uh, the yes. underhook. That was a beautiful job by him. But Solo, man, he, he's doing he's doing really – ooh. Massey rips a big left hook on the break, and Hatley sends him a leg kick for it. it looks like Hatley's getting comfortable. But I just feel like Hatley's got to let his hands go to get in. He wants this fight in. He wants to make this fight a dirty fight. It looks like he's having really good success. When he's staying in, in kickboxing range, I feel like that Massey's kind of picking him apart a little bit. Yes. Um, but I feel like Solo's doing really well once he gets in and he closes the distance. Massey doing a good job of circling, trying to not be a still opponent. Look at his footwork, man. It's amazing. He's back and forth, back and forth. These guys are making such high oh. level reads. My goodness. Flying knee barely missed. Yeah, and Hatley's. Makes him pay with a big good right hand. Good kick by Hatley. Oh, good right. Good knee. Man. Back and forth on the last 10 seconds of that round. Beautiful round by both guys. Beautiful round. And I would not want to have to score that one. And Edward Massey looks over at Solo and laughs. These guys are living it up. These are two true martial artists. You see on the replay there, Solo Hatley throws the big high kick. And these guys are just scrapping it out in the final 10 seconds, trying to put an exclamation mark on this round for the judges. Both guys want to score that round. Yeah, and if I was Nathan Kirby, and, you know, Nathan's a really good corner. If I was Nathan Kirby, I would tell so, calm down. Hey, son, calm down a little bit. Set that takedown with your hands. You, you're, not get, you're not getting any penetration on that takedown. You're securing the takedown because of your strength. Right. In the third round, you might not be able to do that. Yes. So you need to be able to set that takedown up with your hands. And if I was Massey, his coach, I would tell him to keep doing the same thing. He's angling out very well, and really, once he does get sucked up against the panel, he's using great underhooks, he's throwing damaging strikes, and I wouldn't change anything with Massey into the second round. No. And there you see on the, the replay, it was actually the jab of Solo Hatley that loosened the mouthpiece, and he punched it out of the air into the cage. Very precise striking for Solo Hatley Jr. I'm so impressed with both of these guys right now. And again, Andy, these are guys guys that have been on the big shows. These are guys that are trying to get up to the highest level, and they're close. I mean, they're they're two fights away from yes. the Tender Series or another PFL invite, or, you know, so they're, they're there. Looks like referee Bobby Wallbacker's telling it, Edward Massey, you got to tuck the strings in on the shorts. Second round. I'd like to see how Solo comes out in the second round. If he's going to really start using his boxing to get in. I wouldn't stay in range three and four with Massey. That's where he wants to look at his footwork, man. He's switching all the time. Oh, another. Oh, that head kick barely missed. With the lead. Head so kick. quick, he, yeah, too. Just as quick as his it. jab. Yes. And what I'm noticing right away is Massey comes out sticking the jab much more. 
much more aggressive in the striking early. You know what I'm seeing too is Solo is ta you know he's taking center of the cage. Yes. Which Massey needs to stay now. Massey's got the center of the cage. Ooh, good one two by Massey. Yes. But see, Solo's got him right here. This is when I would throw the one two and shoot in. Use his boxing. Use the takedown right here. Right here. One two. Bam bam to the takedown. Right there. See. He tried it. He tried. Massey doing it did a good job of circling off. He did. 100. percent Good job by Massey. But Solo Hatley's. Good job, left side under hook, using it to snatch this single leg. We'll see if Massey's able to stay on his feet here. Well, he's, he's pushing the head down, so that's, that's a good thing. Uh, he's got the overhook right here. I think I will pummel back into the, I'm, I'm big on underhooks. No, good job, he circled out. Massey controlling the center, now rips the big inside leg kick. Solo Hadley shakes it off. That was a good check, though, actually. He, he, he partially checked that inside leg kick just then. That's why Massey smiled at him. He knew it, it, it hurt both of them, I believe. Massey's got that long range, man. I would start using that jab and that one, two. But I tell you, I would even go back to that uh, that feint with the uppercut to that yes. kick. That yes. was a beautiful thing. And Solo didn't see that coming. Well, Massey, he's putting so many things out there for Hatley to try to perceive. Solo almost caught that devastating overhand right just then on Massey. And as we said, Solo Hatley Jr. is a 4 and one professional boxer of his own. I'm curious on what the 38 special is they keep hollering over here in uh, Solo's <laughs> corner. <laughs> yeah, they have something up their sleeve. Yeah, they do. Great. See, this is where Solo needs to be, man. Drop. Nathan's telling him to drop levels. Yep. What we've been saying, he's got to drop levels right here. And, and not be tall. Oh, spinning yeah. elbow just barely missed. Good shot, man. That was a good look by, yeah. by Solo. Solo's getting comfortable there. They're having a good time. They're smiling. Both guys are. They're oh. having a lot of fun. Spinning back fist just then. Both guys starting to open up here in this second round. Big head kick over the top of Solo Hatley. Just too high. Ooh, that skimmed the top yeah. of his head. Massey knows Look, that's there. See? And Hatley laughs and gives him five. And he's oh, that's a good shot right there. Massey, that woke up Massey right there. Yes, that, it that did. That right hand, it, it connected very well. And he that, felt the power of yes. Solo on that one. And there's a lot of power there. Oh, yeah. Look how built the man is, man. He's a, he's a muscle is what he is. You know, man, I'm going to tell you, though, I'm really impressed with Massey's takedown defense, as in getting up from yes. his cage wall. Yes. Like, Solo hadn't been able to keep him there. No, I don't he, think I mean, he's going to keep him here. He's been down several times, four or five times. Massey's been down on the ground now. But you see here he's on that left side under hook, and he's back up. Now there's blood on the cage. I think Massey's cut. He's cut on the bridge of his nose. It's from that right hand. Massey doing a good job. Typically when his back has been on the cage here, we've seen him do a good job of framing. He's looking to pull over to rip the head and turn, as he does right there. Also had really good head placement just then. Yes. Solo actually disengaged on this one. So I was uh, very impressed with that, actually. I think Solo's, you know, he's, he's caught a few one-twos. I think he's getting comfortable in the stand-up a little bit. Um, he needs to watch that head kick because that thing comes out of nowhere. He's just so fast, too. Yeah, he is. Good teep kick. Oh, good side head kick right then. Solo caught, saw it coming. Solo's seeing all these things coming, man. He, he's got really good uh, depth perception, I feel like. Oh, good right, dude. That hurt Massey. One, two, lands for Solo. Yeah, there he goes. Switch it up. And he's right back on the single leg. He's he's got, oh, good elbow. Good side elbows. Good elbows are landing, yes. Hacker. Very yes, hard, they are. too. Yes, they are. And Solo Hatley, I mean, how impressed are you with the conditioning of Solo Hatley Jr.? It's, oh, it's, it's great. And that's one thing, when I talked to him, he said, one thing that I pride myself on is my conditioning. Nobody will outwork me. And we're seeing that right now. His oh, conditioning yeah. is phenomenal. I mean, this guy is working hard. Both of these fighters are working hard in this bout. I mean, if I was a judge, I'd hate to judge this fight because you could go 1-1 one, one yes. right now. Yes. I, I mean, that's the way I would take it is 1-1. One, one. Massey the first round, Solo the second. The Solo seems like he's really getting in his groove now, right? He's really starting to set up his shots with his yes. uh, with his punches and uh, 
and he's starting to look good. But Massey, man, he's still dangerous in, in, in every, every second of the fight. And um, I feel like if he would faint a little more and throw that head kick, it's there. It's well, there. And, you know, we, we've seen it before with judges. It, it makes me think back to Keegan Whitbeck versus Brandon Ball. Sometimes judges just don't award you a victory for takedowns only. Now, Solo Hatley Jr. is having success on the feet as well. However, it's just – this is not definitely either guy's fight. No, not fight. at all. I mean, look, man, if you if you get the takedowns and you're doing nothing with the takedowns and the guy on the bottom is being more active with submissions yes. or trying to get up and he's being more active in general, you got to give the round to that guy. Yes. The takedown, you didn't solidify nothing on that takedown. So, um, and I don't think any takedown so far in this fight has been significant. Either. No, I, so, I agree. Um, but, but it's been good clinch work, good dirty boxing up in there, a lot of technique. People don't realize me. The, the way this fight's going, there's a million different things going on. Massey's opening oh, it up. Oh, yeah, he is. Hey, I, I think he feels like he needs to finish, Hacker. Yes. I don't think he needs to finish. I think he's won the first round. I think it's 1-1 in my opinion, but I'm not a judge. so I agree I as well. But, again, I'm not a judge either. I would never want to be. But that's good. Maybe his corner told him, hey, you need to finish up here, you know, to put a step in his, you know, put a step in his rear end to get it going. So he's fainting really. Oh, Solo's got some power in them hands, man. Massey don't like getting hit by that too. That cross has been connecting all night for Solo. And Massey came out in the second round very aggressive to open the round. Yep. But the wrestling of Solo Hatley can just put a stunt in it. You can only be so aggressive when a guy's on your legs. It just kind of puts you in like – and dormant, you know, yes. you just kind of get dormanted. You just in dorm. It's it's one of them things where I feel like the last part of that second round, Massey just kind of just he just stayed there in the clinch. He really didn't try to do anything with the clinch. Massey or Solo was really being aggressive, and and he's firing off shots. But I think the reason we're seeing a change is because Solo is really starting to have more success in the stand up. Yeah, Solo is. He's able to pick his shots, and, and Massey's being active. You see the, the right hand up top, left hand to the body there. See, Let's, that was a beautiful look right there. He looked down and threw that jab. It landed. Oh, nice. Straight left landed for, for Edward Massey. And now Solo Hatley Jr. on the body lock. Good hits right now, but Solo Hatley's working hard, trying to finish this takedown. Massey doing a good job of pummeling. He needs to pummel in on that right side right there to get that double under. That's the second time we've seen Edward Massey in this round look like he wanted yep. to take the fight to the ground. That's a big shot. Well, he's shot. got good jiu-jitsu, Hacker. Yes. He's got great jiu-jitsu. So if it's really not working for him, he can't find his range in the stand-up. And I don't think he's been able to really find his range in the stand-up due to Solo's wrestling and his uh, pressure. So, um, But that head kick can still come out of nowhere. Yes, you never it can. Know. Yes, it can. Oh. There you see it there. Edward Massey's being super active in this third round. He's just short on that knee. He's got to be careful coming in on that knee like that. Solo Hatley's got his hands locked on the butt. It's a body lock. Massey. Edward Massey's so ridiculously hard to take down. Yes, man. and Massey's throwing the elbows behind him. Yeah. Massey doing a good job of squaring up. The, the hands are still locked. Pummeling in. Hatley. Pummeling in very well. Turned him. Good job. I'm going to throw that knee right there. Oh, good knee by Solo. Good job. Ooh, look at Massey working the body. Was that a su uh, shoe shine right there? Yes. kind of was, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. They're going back and forth. Yes. One of them needs to disengage and get back to the center. We'll see some stand-up. There's a lot going on right here, man. These guys, this is a chest. Oh, good job. Massey breaks through. Massey's got to start throwing that jab, that one, two. Ooh. Yeah, Massey's walking forwards, though. He is walking forward. He's controlling the center of the octagon. Yeah. We haven't seen Solo cave. Hatley back up very much, but he's starting to do it in this third round. Ooh. Overhand left. Just missed. Just barely missed. And Hatley comes in, plants a straight right of his own. Last 
have to wonder how much more gas Edward Massey has in the tank maybe at this point. He's put so much work into this third round. He's going back for the takedown. I, I don't agree with that because I think that uh, if he does need to finish the fight, I don't think he's going to finish it there. I think that he, he his best – his best way to finish the fight is to keep it standing. But there goes Solo again with that pressure, man. Right back, Edwards pressuring. But there's nothing, Edwards not doing anything here. He's holding him here. He's got to be able to capitalize on this situation right here. They're hand fighting, hand fighting. Oh, good left. Yes, Massey lands a big left off the break. Hatley reclaims the center. Hatley circling to his right. Throw 10 seconds. Oh! Hatley with the big head kick. Oh! Right. Great what, fight. What a fight, man. Look, for the people at home, that was a slip. That yes. was not a knockdown. Not I don't want people to think that Edward got dropped because he did not get dropped. That was a slip. But uh, besides that, great fight by I mean, Solo Hatley. I thought that he had a great game plan. I thought Edward Massey. This fight's tough. That's tough to yes. judge, man. I, I don't know. I have. I, I honestly have no clue who they're going to award this fight Me to. Me neither. I have neither. no clue. I won't even begin to guess. Actually, the judges finally got to work tonight. Yes. Yes. And it's a tough one to call. It is. It is. It's a very good technical matchup, right? That was like that's a good matchup. Uh, beautiful job. The judges didn't have to do anything all night up until this moment, and it couldn't it could be a closer one to call, right. in my opinion. Both guys happy, walking around, feeling like they won that fight. Solo Hatley looking to move to nine and five. Edward Massey trying to move to seven and five. I mean, these are two true martial artists. These are great fighters. Man, I hope we can get these guys back again for the B2 fighting series. I couldn't agree more. And yes, I think we're going to, we're definitely going to get them back. Um, I will be making that phone call Monday. Um, <laughs> no rest for the weary. No, uh, hey man, we're we're busy every weekend, hacker. Yes, sir. So you know, we want to keep these guys busy as well. I tell you, these guys had fun in there tonight, man. Yeah. They, they were smiling, talking. I mean, they were enjoying themselves, and that's what it's all about. So even as professionals, yes. having such a and there and really, this fight means a lot. What people don't realize, if Massey loses this, he goes to six and six, right? Or yeah, six and six. So I mean, that's a five hundred record. Seven and five sounds way better yes. than six and six. Absolutely. Nine and five sounds way better than, than eight, eight and six. six. Yes. See? So I mean, this is a big fight. It's got. Big implications yes. in both of these guys' career. We are anxious to see who has won this bout. We are not going to have to wait any longer. Here's ringing out to Lance Green for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three grueling rounds, this decision has gone to the judges' scorecards. Judge one scores this. 30-27, red. Hatley. Judge two scores this, 29-28, Massey. Your final judge judges this, 29-28. For your winner by split decision, out of the red corner, Solo Hatley That was down from the jump day one Same ones been around when there ain't funds Even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one 